departed Oshkosh VFR on our way to Washington Muni. However, we knew that the weather between Washington and Kansas City wasn't looking too good, so we filed an IFR flight plan. The guy flying the 172 you see parked there was on his way to Kansas City as his final destination, but because he wasn't instrument rating, he was going to have to wait the weather out before he could leave. Washington Municipal Airport, automated weather observation, 1724 Zulu. Wind, 140 at 12 knots. Visibility, more than 10. Sky condition, view at 3,500. Temperature, 2, 6 Celsius. Dew point, 1, 9 Celsius. Altimeter, 3, 0, 1, 3 inches of mercury. Okay, and void off of 1730. Correct. Correct. All right. Everything's set. Washington Muni, Skyline 80, Papico, taking off 1-8, Washington Muni. You switch frequencies. I'll go ahead and switch. Chicago Center, Skyline, Denver, Bay, Zero, Papeco, 2,100, climbing 3,000. Climbing and maintain. They're trying to do radar contact three miles southwest of Washington Airport, climbing and maintain 8,000. The tunnel altimeter 3012. 3012, Zero, Papeco. Bay, Zero, Papeco, contact Chicago Center 118.15. 118.150, zero pop echo. Chicago Center, Skyline, Denver, 80 pop echo, 3,400, climbing 8,000. Skyline, 80 pop echo, Chicago Center, via somewhere else, altimeter 3012. 3012, zero pop echo. At 8,000, we should be able to get above on this. Oh, I think so. There's really no way we could have through it via phone. What was your favorite part of the air show? What do you think? The actual air show? No, 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 of, of Osh. Or the, Osh. The whole thing. The whole thing? Uh, the, the, the actual air show, me, I mean, there were some things of it that was like really cool, but, you know, growing up Bossier City with the Air Force Base there, we've seen a lot of that. Yeah. But, but it's on a little bit bigger scale and maybe a greater variety of air. And you're talking about the air shows every afternoon. Yeah, because it, it's, they're different every afternoon. Yeah, they were different. Oh. That was the beauty of where our campsite was, though. We, the, we could sit at our campsite and pretty much see most, yeah. most of it. Yeah. Um, so, from that regard, uh, that was good. I, I, I think looking at a multitude of aircraft that you know we're kind of like interested in yeah. and, and being able to see them side by side basically I mean they weren't side by side but you could get one and then go jump on the other one and compare back to back I guess yeah. is a better yeah and I think that was good because you know we've been in some of them but then it might be six months before you go into the one that's a competitor Right. And then you go, was this bigger or smaller than the other one? And yeah. so yeah. it was kind of right there where you could kind of get a better feel for it. I agree. Yeah. Because eventually we're going to want to get something, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, just meet, you know, some of our subscribers. Uh, we probably had, what, six that were ones that have never commented. And so when they introduced themselves, I'd say, well, what's your, your you know, your yeah. speed name? And you'd say, oh, we never comment. And, and so it, it was just nice to visit with somebody. Yeah, and that they you recognize it. Yeah, and that you haven't communicated with. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. No, I mean, I mean, we're not big by any stretch of the imagination, but it, was, you know, made it fun. That, that made it fun. And then, you know, uh, 
couple of years ago, we were flying into Colorado, and Rich Manor with uh, fly with Rich. We were walking toward the plane, and we hear, "Hey, what's the chances of two you being in the same place at the same time?" Turn around, it was Rich, and then we ran into him there too. Yeah. And none of this was like, "Hey, are you here?" It was like we just ran into each other. Yeah. And then uh, uh, there were a couple of them we ran into like multiple, multiple times. times. Yeah. yeah, just all over the place. And then we happened to see just a couple of people that we just know and just happened to see them and say hello. I think that was part, uh, one of the best was just visiting with people. That was fun. I, I, in the campground. I, 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 I think really, you want to say the best part of it? I think it's the people, yeah, I agree, I agree. You know, it's, it's, we've been to some big events similar to that before. And I don't know, the whole vibe, everybody was nice and they were friendly and everybody was courteous and the workers that were there, all of them were really helpful and nobody seemed to be in a bad mood, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I did, you know, kind of, first few days when we were there before the show officially opened, we just went in and out. But when it officially opened, they checked your bags. Yeah. And it kind of threw me at first because I wasn't expecting it. And uh, this, this one lady said, uh, sir, can I check your bags? And I, I said, no, thank you. She kind of looked at me. And then she kind of laughed. And I said, well, you said, can you? You know, you didn't say I need you. And she goes, I'm an English major <laughs> or, 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 you know, something. She, oh, uh, you know, I don't know if she's teaching. She could have been a professor, English professor. And she goes, I should have known better than that. And she took it really well because it was just some of my dry banter yeah. and humor. Yeah. Uh, and every time she's like, okay, come on, you know, and I just. Yeah. yeah, she was there pretty much every time we came through. But also, and everybody says, you have to go to the seaplane uh, venue. It's over on a lake. And that was so chill and so fun. Well, I got somebody playing the steel drums all the time either. Yeah, yeah, you just, I don't know, it's under some trees. It is just gorgeous over there. It looks like we're an IMC, but we're actually in between two layers. I know it. I know it. I can see the. I mean, it's just. Right, zero Papa Echo contact. Kansas City Center one three two point six. Thirty two point six zero Papa Echo. Have a blessed day. Yeah. Our two four four Golf Chicago and Radio Star Seven Eight Five Beautiful. Have a good day. Thank you much. Have a good day. Seven Eight Five Beautiful. Kansas City Center Skyline eight zero Papa Echo level eight thousand. Or 80 pop back on your check in at 8,000, Kirk Salt Seminary 3014. 3014, zero pop back up. 6,000 for uh, 6, 6, 3 o'clock. So. No, I'm kind of hungry. We would eat our good donuts for breakfast, and then when we stopped back there, we didn't really want to go into town, take the time to eat lunch. And they had a snack machine. Oh, it coins. took coins. It took coins. The, the soda machine uh, over on the other side would take all our bills, but the other, the little slots where you put your coins in. No. I don't know. It was, it was a machine from 1975, I guess. I don't know. The FBO was really nice. It was real nice. That was a nice airport, Washington Municipal. Their fuel was cheap. Well, that's why everybody, stopped. There's everybody that was there said, "Oh yeah, we stop here all the time. This is their cheapest." Uh, they were there were probably five or six things there or came and went while we were there, and uh, no. all, all of us had been in the same place. No. And then one guy was stuck there. He spent he left off yesterday and couldn't go any further because he went to IMC. And that, and that's why you need an instrument rating. He just yeah. couldn't off. And the direction he was going it was going to be kind of clear, you know, around below 5,000. And uh, he just couldn't get off the ground. So I think he was watching. He said it was going to clear up a little bit later. 
What are we gonna eat when we get home? But all we've done is eat. That's all we've done. We don't have anything in the house, do we? We have been home in eight days. I hope that we're home. Don't remember. Tango contact instant center one two eight point six. I do you know we could have bought a dozen of those donuts and brought home. A minute, when we left? Yeah. I, about that. We'd eat them all the way home, though. Gosh, we'd be so sick. Be like that time we were in Bouti, Louisiana, and made bread. And we said, well, let's get three loaves, we'll take them home. We three loaves on the drive home. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're just eating like half a loaf between the two of us. We got started. <laughs> it's just hard to stop. That was terrible. Feel the red front of us, don't we? Uh, a little bit. Not bad. It's not really that tall. Say it's, oh, it's 8,000, maybe 9,000 feet. I think we're going to go to the right of it. We're right through the middle of it. Okay. Well, say the right, you say the left, or you say the middle. What do you say? I thought we're going to hit it. We're going to go to the right of it. Maybe catch an edge, but we're going to go to the right. The build up or just a standalone puppy? So it starts down here. You know what? It is standalone right there. It's I'm thinking. I, I thought it came from here. It kind of did. I think it's standing. I, it, they're I'll layered. We're going to go to the right. They're layered. We're going to go to the left of it. Still say we're going to go right through it. Yeah, there's three different ones and they're layered. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see now back behind it. This one's a standalone. We're actually going to go underneath that one, I think. Yeah. I thought we were going to go kind of right over there. Kind of where it's got a little hole looking. Well, if that one was connected, we'd be going right into it. Yeah, it's not going to touch a single one. <laughs> but we are definitely not going to the right, like I said. No, I knew it was either going to be hit it or to the left. And if that would have gone straight down like it looked like, we would have hit it. 426 River Sierra, Kentucky Center, and Carmen Mateo Butler, 230. A little bumpy bumpy off of it, didn't we? No. More than I thought we would, being off to the side. No. See, no. Four, two, three, another one like that will deviate, you know? I'm thinking I kind of like for dinner. What's that? Something like um, steak. Maybe get to go from Texas or saltgrass. Sounds good to me. I want real food. Yeah. What you, that sounds good? Good, yeah. Are you sure pop echo contact in with city approach 123.9 or 5? 23, 9 or 5, zero pop echo. Have a blessed day. In the city approach, Skyline number 8, zero pop echo, level 8,000. Uh, you mean zero pop echo approach, so there's 3007. 3007, zero pop echo. I think that's a prison down there. I see a lot of, it's odd. There's like a main building and then these buildings around it. No. Can't see it. Is it close? The blue roof and the green roof? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just barely see the outer blue roofs. Now, plus 4788, I mean, gain 4,000. 4,000, so that's 4788. Oh, that's a whole field. You should ask a pilot sometimes when I left, that's left to You know, a commercial pilot. So why do they do this? Approach Skyline Everbury, zero pop echo. Can we deviate to the right for a build-up, please? We need to deviate. To the right, eight, zero pop echo. Zero pop echo, deviate to the right for a strip. Deviate to the right, approve, zero pop echo. Alpha 3231, contact Kansas City Center. One, we're going to get it beat up in those. I was going to say, these clouds, they don't look like that much, and they've got... No, they got some. Kansas City.com, 3250, level 8,000. It's just that one, we could kind of just barely kind of mess around with it, but... Zero, zero. No. I have nine, we're just returning. Contact Tango Tower, 126.9 7,000. Just that one, right? We split these. Uh, oh, yeah. Zero. I think the altitude.
Skyline 80, Pop Echo, contact Kansas City Center, 123.8. 23.80, Pop Echo, have a blessed day. Kansas City Center, Skyline 80, Pop Echo, level 8000. Air East Air Papa Echo, Kansas City Center, C, Manhattan, Altimeter is 3003. 3003, Papa Echo. Therefore, pretty good. Which one is it? KLM 3003. KLWC. Do you see the campus? I guess that's it over there, huh? That's it over there, yeah. Big. You can see the um, stadium, C. It almost looks like you're an IMC right now. No. You can see that cloud like 10 miles out there. Oh yeah, you're right. Because I was thinking that a minute ago. Yeah, you can look down though and see how thin it is. And it's just really thin. Kansas City Center, Skyline November, 80 Papa, go request. There is Papa, go ahead. Yeah, we need to deviate for a few buildups here in front of us. There is Joe Papa, go roger, deviation left and right of course is approved when it was third direct to the Jabbar Airport. Uh, left and right approved, and we'll let you know when direct. Zero pop echo. Appreciate you. May have been fine because that one was okay, but these are way above us, and they might be a little bumpier. Yeah. It's these, aren't we? Yeah. Kansas City Center, Skyline 805 Echo request. 805 Echo, stand by. Wisconsin 660, contact Kansas City Center 123.8. 805 Echo, go. Yeah, can we just go ahead and descend to 6,000? We can get direct, we, we can get underneath some of these buildups. All right, 05 Echo, center to maintain 6,000. 6,000, 05 Echo. 437 Mike Bravo, center to maintain 4,000, Vatalana Airport site. Instead of deviating so much, we can just... All three pictures, thank you, little altimeter. Might be a little bumpier down here, but... It's okay. We're not that far out. 80 Papa Echo, contact with stop approach on 134.85. 3485, Zero Papa Echo, have a blessed day. I do. Which stop approach, Skyline 80 Papa Echo, level 6000. Skyline 80 Papa Echo Wichita Approach, good afternoon. Expect back to the official approach to Abara Airport unless you have another request. If I have the weather notum, no landing information available. Uh, we have the weather notum. Can we uh, put on request the ILS 18, please? Skyline 0 Papa Echo Roger, would you like vectors or own navigation for the ILS from my 1 8 approach at Jabara? Uh, own navigation. Skyline 0 Papa Echo Roger, what would you like for your first plane? Uh, we could just do a uh, diag. Skyline 0 Papa Echo Roger, proceed direct diag for the ILS from my 1 8 approach to Jabara. Uh, direct IX to 18 uh, Island for Jabara, is there a back home? Oh, that's rough. Now what? It's not expecting that. Yeah. Smoother up there, but we've been dodging everything. Yeah. And approach Skyline 80 Pop Echo, we can cancel IFR now. Skyline 0 Pop Echo, Roger, maintain VFR and you can squawk 1200. Change to advisory, have a great day. Talk uh, VFR. Have a blessed day, Zero Pop Echo. Hey, sir. Skyline 80 Papa Echo is 8 to the north, uh, ILS 18 full stop, Jabbar. 
Bar traffic beach did 400 Delta Golf, about five minutes to the south of the field. We'll be setting up for straight in runway 18 Jamar. Petco, four mile final, one eight full stop to bar. Jabar traffic, Scalene, Joe, Papa Echo, short final, one eight full stop to bar. Crosswind from the right. The right now, huh? Yep. Shifting on us. Traffic Sky Alpha 6 Hotel, about three miles to the east, we're crossing midfield right now, one-way, one-way, one-eight, full stop, Jamar. Bar traffic, Skyline 8, Joe, Pumpkin, clear, one-eight, taxiing to the North Key Hangars. At 400 Delta Golf, it's seven miles to the south. We will be uh, in a bad landing, 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 actually. That was good. Way one eight. Our traffic is 2417 Hotel, about a mile and a half east of Jabara. We're going to be crossing midfield for right down runway 18 at 1,900 feet, Jabara. Thank you. Right, so we're going to take a while yeah. downwind and land behind you. We appreciate that. Thank you. We're going to unload everything and put it in the car because otherwise this thing's going to be heavy trying to put it. Yeah, that's true. Good job. Yep. Now let's get this thing unloaded.